Coca-Cola Zero. Okay, so I'm guessing this music video is going to be more based on Coca-Cola because it's probably a sponsor. That's what I'm guessing here. Actually, this video is also sponsored by Coca-Cola. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. Ooh, nice little animation right there. Cool. Now, really quickly, I have seen New Jeans Ditto, but I have not released it yet. It was one of the best K-pop videos I've ever seen. The story of New Jeans Ditto was outstanding. It was new, it was detailed, and it was just original. And I'm really excited to see anything else that's made by New Jeans because even if it's a sponsor, the thing is New Jeans has really great concepts, and that's what I've been seeing and hearing from people in their music videos. So, I'm really excited to see what this is. Already we got some funky thing going on. I like that. I like that. They have some great camera shots. Like, let me just say, first of all, the camera shots they have are great. So I'm guessing this is our story. So, okay. So we're starting off with them dancing, the girl's looking at the picture, so I'm guessing that she's going to be going there with her friends, and they're gonna be drinking Coca-Cola. That's- that's what my guess is right now. It's a summer beach, it's sponsored by Coca-Cola, so obviously the girls are gonna drink their Coca-Cola, come on now, like... And also the sound effects in the background, I don't know if you guys heard that, but if you go back... The little ease, the little sound is just so crisp. It's so like subtle. Those little details add to the music video. Like having the sound design. Ooh. I just want to make sure I get everything, like the story, the best I can in this video. So now I'm guessing they're going to be traveling in a tunnel. Let's say. New Jeans is really good at dancing too. They're really good with moving their bodies and... This is actually a bop, not gonna lie. This is a something you want to be careful about in music videos, they're jump cutting. But they're doing it in a really, really smart way. So the cool thing about this is they're breaking the boundaries. Like, with editing and everything, people set boundaries for, like, what should be done and what shouldn't be done. But they're breaking the boundaries. Jump cutting is when you're cutting from one thing to another, but it's in the same frame. So like this. Bruh. The way to avoid that is pretty much by punching in, punching out. So like moving my face cam in and out like while I talk between sentences. In this scenario, what they're doing is zooming out while having those jump cuts, which is really effective. Now, it's also good to break boundaries with everything in editing and film. Because if you stick to the boundaries, there's no original content. So breaking boundaries like this is just crisp. Freaking crisp. Okay, so I think I get the story. She's cleaning. She doesn't want to be cleaning. They just want to enjoy summer vacation. They want to go to the beach. They're visioning the beach. They've been having a storyboard. They're e either like getting ready to go or they're preparing right now to get ready to go to the beach and they have to clean all this crap up. And is that honey? It looks like apple juice or something. Ooh, we got some mangoes or something. I don't even know what that is. I'm hungry now. <laughs> sound design I love the simplicity of it I really do like it I love the simplicity of it how it just cuts the sound just cuts and then the sound design that and that and then Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not sure how I feel about the chorus with this one. Like, the beginning of the song, everything is really good. And I love New Jeans. I love them. But I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't know how I feel about the chorus. I might have to listen to it more. It might be one of those songs where I need to hear it more. But I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it yet. Let's keep watching. Let's keep watching. The editing, though, is like... This is the best Coca-Cola sponsor I've ever seen in my life. Ooh. 
See, this part is a bop. It's so good. This part right here, it just, it sounds so clean and so crisp. And I love the way they dance. The, the, the dance moves, the whole thing is supporting, the footage. It's so good. The only thing I'm not sure about, though, is the chorus. I'm not too sure. Ah. So they're visiting the place now. They're on like a vacation. Here we go. What's behind the red door? Don't do it. It's Coca Cola or something. Let's say. So that's a really interesting effect, actually. Now, this reminds me exactly of the Doctor Strange portal effect. It's pretty much done the exact same way. So all you have to do is use masking in different clips. So you can shoot different clips and shots, like for example, for the portal, and then you can have your subject with a green screen in the back and he's going forward. And then you could pretty much just put a fake background behind him. And then you can have him like come through the portal. There's different ways to do it, but I guarantee you they used masking with this. They're um, masking two Two shots and then they have like a shot um, mask behind the door and then the big thing about these kind of shots is lighting you want to make sure you have perfect lighting with these kind of shots because if you don't it's not gonna look realistic sometimes you'll have to add shadows or sometimes you'll have to add extra lights because you can see in behind her it's actually very very dark so you want to keep that consistency my thought processing is a mask with a green screen they could have used but it also could be something else but look at that. That was very smart. Instead of having to like use more editing, they cut right to their faces. So they don't have to really show anything else. And then the door is closed. Oh my God, no, stop it. I love that. Okay, that is awesome. They drink it and it's like fast paced. So they're going through everything in their head. That is a really, really nice thing. They're, they're high on sugar. <laughs> and that's one way to do it. Not gonna, this is the best Coca-Cola sponsor I've ever seen. I love the shots. Let's try and cut. Ooh. I guarantee you this was done in editing too. You can see there's vignettes on there. It looks like they used masking. They also used like black masks or color mats to like make that black part right there. And it looks like it's actually worth seeing what the camera's seeing. But I guarantee you this is just editing right there. And then they freeze frame it, which is really cool. They they highlight the thing, it goes red. You just change the color of it. You could actually make those like shapes easily. And then pretty much you just freeze frame it. Bam, freeze frame. Very nice. Very nice touches. And dude, it, these shots look so good. It's such a fun Coca-Cola commercial. Ooh. Nice, nice. I will be pretty honest. I wasn't too fond of the chorus. I think the chorus was kind of not it for me. I think everything else was perfect. The shots were really good. The dancing was amazing. New Jeans has some incredible dancing. They have some amazing voices. They have really, really beautiful voices. That's one of my favorite things about this band. And I'm really excited for you guys to see Ditto come out soon. It's a bop it's one of my favorite k-pop videos of all time k-pop videos i swear man they always have the best editing it's just i know a lot of the things are simple but the way they tell the story for a coca-cola commercial i actually want to watch this like i actually enjoyed watching it and the way they portrayed everything is so good the girls have a charismatic personality and it's really i really want to indulge and watch this i actually want to drink some coca-cola now and i don't i never drink soda let me know your guys opinions down below leave some comments tell me what what else you want me to react to i appreciate all of you and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out